Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Gabrielle Ray and I present cases of missing persons, unsolved homicides, and the unidentified. Today I am doing the unsolved homicide of Agnieszka Zimluski, who was deceased on September 24th, 1998. She was a white female and immigrated from Poland to Hartford, Connecticut at 12 years old. She was athletic, practiced martial arts, skied and rollerbladed in her spare time. She owned her own apartment in Hartford and was walking her dog at her time of death. Her nicknames were Agnes and Nikki. She was a 1989 graduate from Berkeley High School and a 1994 graduate from the University of Connecticut. When she was killed, she worked at United Health and she left work went to Stop and Shop in West Hartford before driving to the reservoir. The West Hartford Reservoir was located off of Route 4, and it was a popular place for hunters, joggers, bikers, and walkers because of the peacefulness and the tranquility of the forest. On September 24, 1998, she was fatally shot while walking on a popular Farmington Trail near the Metropolitan District Reservoir. She was shot three times in the neck at close range on a walking trail off of Old Mountain Road. Two joggers on the same trail heard the shots and ran down to flag help at 524 p.m. Her body was found in a clearing near Red Reservoir Road. She reached her demise at only 26 years old. Farmington Police Lieutenant Tim McKenzie believed that she knew her killer and that he lived nearby and believed that the killer lived somewhere in the community. She was found a few hundred yards from Old Mountain Road and police searched the reservoir extensively. Over 300 people were interviewed and police focused closely on associates and friends. There were no witnesses to the actual crime, but police searched for several cars parked near the scene at the time. They couldn't find anybody that held a grudge against her and also didn't believe that the perp fled the state after the attack. It was believed that she was a specific target of the attack and there was one main suspect, but he was never charged. Police are aware that there is some information that has not been shared, but it is never too late to come forward. They are also aware that people may not come forward because of relationships with some people involved. Uh, concerns for safety, or they may not even realize that they have an important piece of information that is being withheld. Police have not stopped testing evidence or searching for clues since her death. A $50,000 reward sits unclaimed for any information on the murder of Agnieszka. Tragically, a year after her death, her father had drowned while swimming in a Rhode Island beach without knowing who the killer of his daughter ever was. Police are hoping that maybe one day that justice will be served for the mother and this, her sisters. Police held a news conference in 2018 asking the public for help. The Chief State Attorney's Cold Case Unit, John Below, says that this is the only homicide in Farmington in a 35-year time period. Under the tree that she was killed at stands a red memorial marker for her. She was buried at Cedar Hill Cemetery in Hartford, Connecticut. Tim McKenzie also adds, we want to bring Agnes's murder to the forefront of people's minds. To this day, no suspect has ever been charged in the murder of Agnieszka Zimluski. Now, a couple things could explain who killed her and why? Could it have been somebody she knew or possibly somebody who followed her from work or the stop and shop in Hartford? Or was it a crime of opportunity? And also what happened to the dog that she was walking? We do not know and to this day, we still have no clues to lead us anywhere. If you or anybody you know has any information on Agnieszka's murder, please contact the cold case tip line of Farmington at 860-673-8266 or email justice4agnes 
at farmington-ct.org. It has now been 21 years and not a single person has any idea what led up to the murder of Agnieszka. So if you or anybody you know has any information, please do not hesitate to call the number and it will be in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a good night.